Greetings everyone, P. Pardo here from See You Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with See You Tranquility. It's Wednesday, it's new album review day. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new album on SPV Records from a uh, British band who seems to give us a new release every two years in their history. This is their 22nd studio album, 22 studio albums, countless live albums, a band you can always rely on. I'm talking about Magnum. Monster Roars. Yes, that's right. It's Magnum, not Magma. Kind of interesting here. This is uh, for the first time in a while that I can remember. We um, have a album cover on a Magnum album that is not done by Rodney Matthews. Rodney Matthews generally does the album artwork for Magnum, kind of like Roger Dean and Yes, Rodney Matthews and Magnum <clears throat> kind of go hand in hand. Not this time around, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here again, like I said, the 22nd album. It's amazing how almost in almost every instance, a new Ma Magnum album generally comes out right at the beginning of the new year. Almost always. I, I seem to recall like the last handful all are released in January. So it's like, it's like one of those instances where new Magnum album, brand new month of the year, and then at the end of the year, it's like it's almost like it seems like it was forever ago that these albums came out, right? But uh, I have a feeling this is going to be remembered all year long. I, you know, I feel like a broken record sometimes talking about this band because every album they release is just so damn good. And this really is no, um, no different than any of the others. So let's take a look here. All right. So SPV Digipack here. All right. Got, got to love gotta love that logo right pretty cool and we got the booklet for the monster roars lyrics shots of you know some animals roaring obviously although if you kind of listen to the album and read along to the lyrics really the monster roaring that they're talking about is not some of these furry monsters we see in the pictures but actually the most dangerous animal on the planet which is basically ourselves right so not you know, from a lyrical perspective not the happiest album uh, from this band you'll ever hear because I you know we're not really living in happy times and I think the uh, the topics of conversation on this album have a lot to do with what's been going on in the world I mean I know a lot of bands and artists are doing that because they take inspiration from what's happening right and what has been happening we all know right so whether it be uh, stuff going on with COVID or the economy or politics or the environment I mean all this kind of stuff uh, you know, social problems and depression and bullying and all that kind of, I mean, these are all the things that, uh, you know, violence and, and this is what's going on with the world. This is what has been going on with the world. So Magnum, no strangers to doing, you know, taking inspiration for their songs from all these topics. And uh, let's talk about the band, right? Before we get into the song. So here we have, uh, of course, uh, Bob Catley on lead vocals. We've got, hold on, Tony Clarkin on guitars. Where is everybody listed here? I was just looking at it. It's one of those things where I keep uh, Magnamar. Bob Catley on vocals. Tony Clarkin on guitars also produces and writes all the songs. You got uh, Rick Benton on keyboards, Lee Morris on drums, and Dennis Ward bass and backing vocals. Along with on one track, you've got a brass section, Chris Aldridge and Nick Dewhurst. And uh, additional vocals on a couple tracks, Shaz Benton. So, uh, yeah, really good, really enjoyable album. This is like one of those albums, as I find most Magnum albums are. First listen, you're instantly remembering these hooks, these melodies. It's the same deal here. Uh, Tony Clarkin knows how to write a catchy hook, housed within a very um, endearing hard rock style okay 12 tracks on this album kicks off with three terrific songs uh you got the monster roars is the title track which is the first song good up-tempo rocker again it's catchy good guitar riffs i like it a lot bob catley still sounds great the guy is like just the voice that never never stops delivering right uh Perhaps my favorite song on the album, or one of them anyway, is a song called Remember, which is track number two. Absolutely stunning, stunning hooks on this one. 
<clears throat> just so catchy. Yet again, it, it delivers the rock that you need. I noticed not a ton of keyboards on this album. You know, various Magnum albums over the years very reliant on the big symphonic keyboard swells to go along with uh, Clarkin's hard rock guitars. I, I find the keyboards are kind of taking a little backseat on this album. They're there, but they're not overly so. This, to me, is more of a guitar record. Although not a, not a necessarily heavy album, but it definitely rocks in spots. Uh, All You Believe In is next up. Uh, again, great hook, great melody, good instrumentation. Then you got uh, I Won't Let You Down, really good anthem. like that a lot. Uh, the Present, Not The Past. Good song, a little on the mellower side. Then you got uh, No Stepping Stones, which is the track with the horns. Yeah, horns on a Magnum album. Kind of works. It's like a kicked up Chicago, so to speak. I like it. Really good stuff. Uh, then another of my fav favorite songs, uh, That Freedom Word. Great heavy riff on this particular song. Great chorus. I mean, I just such a memorable chorus. And Catley's delivering a really energetic, venomous vocal on this one. I think uh, Remember and That Freedom Word are probably my two favorite songs. Uh, Your Blood is Violence, another really strong track. That's the longest at just under seven minutes long. Kind of proggy in spots, right? It's definitely good. Got some nice moody sections and things. Good song. Uh, Walk the Silent Hours is solid. Uh, the Day After the Night Before, also really good. Come Holy Man is another standout track. Uh, towards the back end of the album, good rocker, good guitar work, nice little smattering of keys. The rhythm section throughout the whole album is really locked in, and man, Catley just sounds great throughout. And then, uh, last but not least, you've got Can't Buy Yourself a Heaven, which is a nice, moody, melodic piece to finish up the album. Album sounds great, produced really well, as all the uh, Magnum albums are. Just really good overall production on this, and uh, very enjoyable. It's just great to see this band just keeping on, keeping on. Every couple of years, right? Every two years, oop, out comes a new album, and it just, they always deliver. They're always really enjoyable, and strangely enough, it's like not barely anybody here in the U.S. knows who these guys are, but this is a band that I think would appeal to so many folks here who like just good, melodic, hard rock music, right? That, uh, you know, you could say that their music is heavily 80s sounding, which I think it is. Um, and for all the folks watching who love 80s hard rock, love the big hooks and great instrumentation, here you go. Uh, the Monster Roars, the latest from Magnum, their 22nd album on SPV Records. It is out now, so please go check it out. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Stay tuned coming up throughout the day. More album reviews. we got a couple other good ones for you, so uh, stay tuned for that. And then uh, tomorrow, of course, we've got The Monster's Den. So uh, Chris Allo and Dave LaGreca and myself are going to be talking about tomorrow our favorite horror films, the modern horror films from year 2000 to today. So our favorite post-2000 modern horror films of the last 20 years. And uh, that's coming up tomorrow. It was a lot of fun, so please make sure you check that out. And then Friday morning at the Funhouse, Martin Popoff and myself are going to be talking about... The Double Album Hangover. That's right. So those those great double albums where, you know, band puts out a double album and then they got to follow that up with a single. And how does the sing how's the single? How did that turn out, right? So the follow-up album to the big double album, that's coming up on Friday morning. And then, of course, we've got the uh, UK Connection with uh, Simon Bray and Stephen Reed coming up on Saturday. And then album homework assignment on Sunday. Myself and Martin Popoff, the rematch with Jamie Laszlo hosting. That is happening on Sunday. So stay tuned for this and a lot more here on the channel. We've got uh, Ranking the Album shows coming up. Quite a few of them actually are in the works. So uh, if you like that sort of thing here on the channel, those are coming up. And then, uh, you know, next week, of course, we circle right back with uh, the Hudson Valley Squares. We've got another album war show on Monday night, staying on 1982. We've got Kiss, Creatures of the Night going up against Y&T Black Tigers. So that's happening on Monday. And then Album Wars continue on In the Prog Seat Tuesday night. We're going back to 1982 once again. All right, we're going to stick on 1982 because 40 years, right? So 40 years celebrating uh, celebrating 40 years of great albums from 1982. If in the Prog Seat, we've got Rush Signals going up against Jethro Tell Broadsword and the Beast. So that is happening on Tuesday night on In the Prog Seat. So uh, lots happening here on the channel. So make sure you don't miss any of it by subscribing, clicking on that notification bell. We also have the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations below, as well as our merch page where you can get all sorts of cool Sea Tranquility stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. I am P. Pardo. See you real soon here on the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.